hello 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 welcome back to get and find you so today's video i just want to share my creativity journey with you guys so i start creating i start uh, looking for this 4000 watch time about 12 months ago uh, with my iphone 11 pro which i still use to live stream a lot and i also use this phone to record or film uh, food contents especially when you're in a restaurant you can't use your camera big cameras so this is just the beginning let me uh, take you through the whole process how i got to uh the 4000 watch time and how we got to uh, where we are today so let's dive into the video so in 2021 uh, when the pandemic actually got worse in, um you know work was kind of all right you know my previous job was kind of boring so you know what i you know i have a lot of spare time in my hand and i still have my youtube channel i started youtube like 2009 but my second channel this one about 2012 but you know i stopped creating uh, due to work and some personal stuff so during the pandemic i got a lot of time in my hand so I just thought, you know what, this is a perfect time uh, to start creating again. And during the process, it was very difficult because, you know, I wasn't the type of person who hold cameras and uh, talk to audience or share stories. I'm somebody who just create videos without me talking in the background, like kind of like a, a creative director kind of stuff. But suddenly something kind of tell me, I kind of have a kick that I need to start sharing content. I mean, talking to audience, people out there might actually like what I do. So I tried it. I start with a topic called a Neighborhood Tour. And if you part of Ghana Fenty, when you watch how I started, uh, I started vlogging with the, the iPhone. I was just walking around the neighborhood, you know, telling you guys how the neighborhood looked like. And then during those few videos, it was very difficult. The first one was very, very tough because I was shaking, I was nervous. It was quite hard work, you know, like to build um, confidence through a camera is something that, you know, if you're watching this channel, it's possible you can do it. You know, I, I never thought I'd be this confident till I start holding the camera and talking to you, to fans yeah and it got there then i start creating every week i start creating then it got to a time where i have to travel to ghana alone which was very difficult because i haven't been on a plane alone for a long time and then at the time going to ghana i told uh, ja i want to film the whole process so i only got a phone i don't have any camera gadget with me i had a a small dash cam at the time but i decided not to use it so i filmed the whole traveling during the pandemic uh, with my phone so if you want to go back and watch the video uh, let me know what you think i filmed the whole process uh, using the iphone which i think was quite good like something amazing that i thought you know somebody who start creating again in less than a month money to uh, create content like that which people really really enjoy yeah I, i'm very pleased i'm very pleased so it wasn't just an easy busy uh, journey yeah so let's continue let me continue uh, sharing this amazing journey uh, with you guys actually give me a bit of confidence that I could actually do this uh, YouTube thing and uh, able to share stories with people, able to guide people, able to tell people how to do things. It kind of gave me confidence. Then when we went to Monaco, like, it just like on another level. 
So if you watch the content from uh, Monaco, like I was so confident at FEMA Hotel content, like I was so good at what I was doing. And I tell myself, I think you can definitely do this. So that's when I told myself that I think <laughs> you're born to do this uh, thing called creativity or creating content. So yeah, the Monaco holiday was amazing. Uh, so if you haven't watched the content, it's on the sister channel. It's on a socially guide. That video is almost about 6,000 views so far. It was a great content. People really like it. Uh, there's a lot of engagement rate there. And those kind of videos kind of give me the idea that if you create more, people will like your content and you get to 4,000 very easily. Let's continue. During the process, I challenged myself in so many ways. I went to Weatherspoon to create like a, a one pan coffee content where you drink coffee all day for one pound. And that was something as well that I did, which I challenged myself, which I never thought I could do. And like, I gave myself tax and those things kind of improve my creativity and improve my confidence like holding calm and sharing stories in town countries cities hotel rooms it's just got better it just got better and then when i go to the youtube uh, analytics and i go to the monetization and i keep seeing the watch time keep climbing the subscribers keep growing i kind of tell myself look i think you can do this guess what i did i watch all i watch more creators I watch uh, Nessa, I watch Wode Maya, I watch some big creators out there. And you know what? What I noticed from those big creators, they have consistency. Consistency, that's what I've learned from those creators. Uh, what we're going to do, I'll be on this bus later to show you uh, the whole bath today. So just stay with me. Consistency, that's what I learned from those creators. And you know how they did it? They don't sit down and post one video in a year they don't sit down and post one video in a month they post videos they post video continuously and they create different stories challenge themselves to do things that they don't want to do but sometimes when they do things that they don't want to do that's where people see a different creative side oh. This view here is just amazing. So this is the Putney Bridge and Pier. Uh, behind me there, that building there, there's a cafe there. So if you want to have a coffee, uh, enjoying this gorgeous view, you can grab a coffee down there. Yeah, I'm a viewer at the same time a creator. So on this platform, you know, I'm not just uh, creating to make money or to, to help people. I'm also creating to improve my mental health help myself uh, financially, help myself uh, as a person, and at the same time, teach, guide, and also help you, my viewer. So the journey was a quite a lengthy one. I've created a content from Waitrose. So I've created a content from here, uh, where I was drinking coffee, and how much the coffee costs, and also create content here where I show you guys how much uh, groceries cost in which was yeah and that was a great content as well so you can't just sit down at home expecting your watch time to grow it doesn't work like that it doesn't yeah so it's been a journey really it's been uh, i mean is it an amazing journey i think so because you can't just get four four thousand watch time for me particularly it was very difficult because imagine you had a a YouTube 10 years ago then you stop creating so what the YouTube algorithm does is all those watch time that you had before any time uh, the day passed so imagine if you let's say on the 29th of July uh, 20 uh, no let's put it this way uh, let's say on the 1st of January uh, 2015 
got 4,000 views. So on that day, if you didn't hear the 4,000 views, they did that, that 4,000 views from your watch time. So like in my scenario, it was very, very difficult to hear the 4,000 because they keep deducting my watch time uh, from my account, which was very, very difficult to um, But you know what? How did I beat that system? I beat the system by creating every day. Like my consistency level just rose. Like I don't sleep, I create. I did videos, I bought new gadgets, I bought new cameras, I bought new laptops. You know, I even went like my old laptop that wasn't working, I raised money and I went to fix it. So when we travel, I have like two laptops here, one exporting videos, one editing videos, one rendering videos. So like my consistency level like went up skyrock high. Like I was everywhere. I was creating every day. I have I have like two terabytes of data almost everywhere. So every day I have something that I need to create, you know, like even talking to you right now, I have about videos that's unlisted that I need to create. Thumbnail that I need to create like descriptions for. So like you can't just sit down and expect to get 4,000 hours. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you watch uh, my other videos, I did videos from Little as well because the thing I do is I try to give you guys like a retro content and this shop is one of the places where I create content where I will show you guys how much uh, things cost in the UK. Yeah, like uh, this sugar, this brown sugar actually costs about 65p. So like the type of content I create is to teach, to guide and at the same time to help you. most of uh, my followers or my subscribers uh, who follow me at the beginning uh, you probably see a lot of videos from Portishead Marina uh, I'm just heading to uh, where I do most of my uh, day in the light videos um, whenever I sit there it's just like a perfect time take my time to reflect what I've been doing all week and also at the same time and I also managed to share how my week like yes, and I'm just going back there as a reflection like yeah just to you know to remember those uh, good old days uh, with those amazing content from there when the sun was shiny drinking beer and all those type of uh, content and uh, the content is on the playlist uh, day in life so if you want to go check them out uh, please do check the videos out uh, they're quite amazing videos yeah you learn a bit of one or two things from there the day in the live videos because yeah your day in life might be totally different from uh from mine so stay on let me go sit uh in my favorite corner i don't have the longest uh, tripod today but 
I just thought I'd show you guys where I normally create most of my uh, day in the life videos. Look, it's a gorgeous view, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah. So here's my steps. Now I normally walk. It's like my favorite corner. I always sit here. You know, put my beer uh, down here. You know. And I'm just going to sit here again. You know, just to reflect on those good old days. You know, those good old days where. I sit here talking to you through this the same camera and I'm back here at uh, this time of the day you know since it's a very beautiful day we go monetize I just thought you know I share this news with you because you know when I started I thought it's not going to be possible but you know with hard work determination consistency you know we managed to achieve that yeah I, I just need to find a time to you know to celebrate this with you guys probably a live stream party i don't know yet but yeah so this is for you guys this is for you guys so what's the new plan uh, the new plan is uh, just to keep creating content and along the road you know we'll learn a lot we'll be traveling to different countries we'll be doing things out of our comfort zone but not risky stuff something just to you know give the viewers adrenaline you know uh, i'm ready to do anything you know just to uh, create amazing content but not to risk a life though yeah um like you guys know, I love traveling, I love eating, I love nice things. So the channel is towards him. I mean it's going towards that travel with food, like lifestyle. So this kind of vibe, you know, vibe, good vibes only though. Yeah. La so uh stitching. Let's uh, get to the other side of uh uh, these uh, watch time stories. <laughs> 